going to be ready in time. No worries, Mrs. H. Everything will be ready for our guests. Ah! The picnic is going to be perfect. We'll have the table set up in a flash, Mom. Are you all right, Milo? Couldn't be better. All right, then. I'm going to pick some berries for the fruit salad. So, what else is there to do? <gasps> Get some ice! <laughs> I don't see any cups. Do we have cups? Milo, you are in charge of the cups. Uh, I was? Right! Cups. I'll go look for them. Darn! We need cups. Ah! Ow! The mosquitoes are really bad. Uh? This doesn't look good. Let's get out of here. I think we lost them. Oh, no. This can't be. Mom, what happened? My berries are ruined. Look. Ugh. There goes my appetite. Incoming! <laughs> It'll be impossible to have the picnic with this many mosquitoes. Yeah. But why are there so many? Why? That's what I'm wondering, Milo. It's serious mysterious. Good for two points. There's got to be a reason for this many bugs. Well, I certainly don't understand it. All I know is two days ago, my garden was perfect. But what could have happened between then and now? Mom, did you notice anything strange lately? Well, there was that big rumble I heard the other morning. I was sleeping when it happened. It came from outside. So I looked in the garden, but I didn't see anything. Only Mr. Roussard taking pictures. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Mm. There's no way a strange noise explains these bugs. Ah. Sorry. I'm not so sure, Milo. I think that strange noise is our first clue. Still not much to go on, if you ask me. So, where to now? Let's talk to Mr. Roussard. Maybe he saw something. Whoa, time out. If we go out there, we're going to be some mosquitoes' breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I am not moving. No way, no how. Why did I ever agree to wear this thing? If I get one more bite... Uh-oh. I got an itch. Milo, a little help? Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Shh. Do you hear that? What is it? A bird? Sounds like a rusty wheel to me. It's gone now. Okay, let's go. Hmm? Oh, hello. Alfred? Camille? Milo? Mr. Roussard, aren't you getting eaten alive? No, bug lotion. I made it myself. All natural, too. Have some. P.U. Now we know why it works. My mom said she saw you the other morning when she heard that big boom. Hmm. Oh, yes. Never heard anything like it. It was so loud it made me jump and ruined the picture I was taking. You were taking a photograph at the time? Yes. You see, I'm doing a photo essay on wildflowers in the forest. Um, uh, B! Do you have a copy of the picture? I should. Let me see. Here it is. What's that in the background? Looks like smoke or something. Strange. It's coming from over there. Darn. I thought it could have been a clue. Oh, it's a clue, all right. It's our second clue. Finally. The beak! It flew away! You mean that one there? Ah! Noises and smoke are not clues. They have nothing to do with bugs. We don't know that yet. I'm with Milo on this one, Alfred. 
maybe we're just having a buggy summer. I still think there's a reason why. Uh, where are you taking us? It looks like the cloud of dust is near Loomis's cave. Loomis's cave? We're not going near there. There could be another clue. We have to go. We have no choice. I hate it when you say that. Hey, there's that sound again. Could be an angry squirrel. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen an angry squirrel? <clears throat> you don't think that's a clue, too? Sure. Our third clue. Everything in nature is connected somehow. Does he have an answer to everything? Will you ah! stop yapping? <sighs> I'm trying to sleep. Sorry, Loomis. But why aren't you sleeping in your cave? Cave? What cave? It's gone. Gone? Gone. Somebody took it. Well, I guess you need to find another one far, far away, right? <sighs> Nobody uh... can take a cave, Loomis. Oh, no? You calling me a liar? You really need to have a mint. Tell us what happened. I woke up as usual and needed some breakfast as usual. Then that I heard a big rumbling noise. <gasps> and that's when I discovered my cave was missing. Maybe he needs a pair of glasses. I heard that. <laughs> you know, not only am I tired, but I'm really hungry too. Nice kitty. What do we care if Loomis's cave went missing? What about the picnic? The bugs? Milo, caves don't just disappear. Aren't you even curious? We have to investigate. If his cave did disappear and we solve the mystery, we'll be famous. They'll write about us in books and magazines. Famous. Yeah! Oh, but we have to solve it first. Loomis wasn't kidding. It seems his cave is missing. Nobody move. There's been a rock slide. See all these loose rocks? It was raining, remember? The rain probably loosened the dirt up there, causing the landslide, and the landslide covered Loomis's cave entrance. Darn. Does this mean we're not going to be famous? There's that sound again. I know I've heard it before. We should go. I don't like the looks of those rocks, and rock slides can be dangerous. Really? Why? <laughs> I know you tried, Alfred, but we'll cancel the picnic. There are just too many mosquitoes. No, Mom. We're not giving up yet. But we know what clues one and two are. The big rumble you heard was the landslide. The cloud of smoke was the dust from the falling rocks. So it has nothing to do with bugs. Let's face it, this is a job for the swatter. Extra large! We still haven't figured out our third clue. I still think it's a wheel that needs oil. Hey, can you play that sound again? That's a bat. Bats make that sound. A bat? A bat! Of course! Wait a sec! Mom, you're a genius. I am. He got his smarts from somewhere, Mrs. H. Everybody, grab a shovel. We've got some digging to do. Digging? No, I'm way too hungry to dig. I guess I'm digging. Mom, we can have our picnic tomorrow. Promise. I'm still confused. That bat we heard is upset. And you know why? He's been locked out of his cave, like Loomis. But well, what do bats have to do with bugs? Bats eat all sorts of bugs, like the ones that destroyed Mom's fruit. A single brown bat can eat 600 mosquitoes in one hour. And I thought I got hungry. Since the landslide, the bats can't fly to their cave, so they can't eat the mosquitoes. And that's why there's so many of them. Giving us a buggy summer. What's that sound? Ah! It's dinner time. Mmm, best 
picnic ever, Mom. Yeah, but I think I ate way too much. Guess you could say I was hungry as a bear. Or a bat. Uh, what? That was funny, huh? You guys, that was a good joke. Not really? Give me a break, it was. Huh? Yeah. All bats can see, but they rely on echolocation to catch their dinner. Not only do they eat mosquitoes, but they eat plant-eating insects, too. Bats eat twice as many plant-eating insects as birds do, so they play an important role in the food chain.